Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. Here we have a 2017 C case unboxing video. It's an international case, so you'll have multiple languages on the packages. When I did my B case unboxing video, I kept saying hope, we're hoping to get the Super Treasure and 16 Angels. Silly goose. I should have known it was the mystery machine that's going to be the uh, B case treasure hunt. I went to Kmart Collector's Day in my case. There's B case. My case had a super treasure hunt mystery machine. Uh, <laughs> it just didn't even dawn on me. I don't know why I was saying looking for 16 angels. But now C case, that's the super treasure hunt for the C case. So hopefully we get that uh, 16 angels. By the way, it's like a holiday decoration. It's a uh, gold with white tires. And the 16 Angels is also in here as a basic release. It'll have white wheels as well, but not the same white wheels that the Super Treasure Hunt is going to get. I can see Mystery Machine right there already. That's the regular. That's the regular Mystery, mystery Machine. Wow, this thing has seen better days. Uh, let's just take it. Well, when I get to there, we'll talk about that. Here we go. Zodic. That's, uh, you know, Zodic, like exotic, right? Pretty simple name to remember, exotic. So there's Zodic, been around for probably 10 years. Here you have the Honda Odyssey and Fast Cash. Oh, here's a new model. We'll get to this one in just a second. 15 Ford, uh, hello, 15 Ford F-150. And here's another truck. Yeah, the Chevy Blazer 4x4. This is a new model, but since this is an international case with uh, multiple languages, uh, uh, they don't put English too much on the front because, you know, it's for foreign countries as well with all these languages. So I think they minimize how much English they put on front of the card. So it does not say new model or wh whatever it says. I don't have one handy. But anyways, get back. Get down. This is the uh, boom car. So you're going to be able to put, like, you could put like a minifigure in the cannon. It's like a circus cannon. It's supposed to be in the package like this. Anyways, you could put your figure in the cannon. Look, you can see right through there. And so when your figure's in the cannon, his legs or his butt, whatever you got sticking out the back, you're right there. And then you go, boink, and you get to launch him out of the cannon. Uh, or you just have him drive like that and have him hold onto the handlebars. Ah, kind of fun model, and red, white, and blue. Thank you very much for the first release. Uh, here is 16 Angels, and this is a regular release. That's regular paint, regular tires. So hopefully we get one like this that's a chrome gold. That's what they did. Since it's a plastic car, they can't make a Spectre Flame. So what they did is uh, make it a gold chrome for the Super Treasure Hunt. I can see one down there, but it looks like it's regular. Anyways... There's another uh, Mountain Mauler, not another. The Beatles Yellow Submarine is back. This was out at the end of 2016. So it's nice to see it in uh, the assortment again for those who didn't get it. And by the way, it's a little different than last year's, the 2016 version. Uh, I see pictures to where this, see how this matches very nicely. But for last year, these were kind of, they didn't match the two yellows. If you, uh, if you have one, you can check that out to see what I'm talking about. But it's nice to get a mystery machine. Hey, all four of my wheels are good. If you watch that case unboxing video, uh, unfortunately, one of my wheels were tucked underneath. Here is Mattel's brand new wheel, Sky Dome. As a matter of fact, Sky Dome. Sky Dome's a new model as well. I don't think I've seen this. Check it out. Hey, that looks, that's pretty cool. You can see right into the canopy, right into the driver's compartment. This is a pretty fun model. I like it. So what do you think about these new wheels? I think they'll look good with uh, fantasy cars like this, Mattel Creations. I've seen some upcoming models where they don't look very good. In my opinion, Porsche 993 GT2, 68 Chevy Nova. Nice to see the Nova back in the Flame Series. You know, to each their own as far as how the cars look. Here you have the Porsche with the uh, plastic headlights. Oh, it's got a license plate too. Can you see it? License plate in the front, license plate in the back. But uh, it looks good. I have a friend, Louis, or Louis. He, uh, he put one on, I think, a uh, Lamborghini. I forget. It looked pretty good. It made sense. It looked good on that car. 
Here we have a 2017 new model. I hope I didn't say 2016 before. Volkswagen Kafer, Koffer Racer. We'll get a focus on it in a second. The Jetsons and the Lamborghini Countach. Here you have uh, Mattel bringing back their tuned cars. And I like the tuned cars. I, I, I like the segment. But this is the one car that didn't make sense for me. Uh, you know, I don't know. It just made it look a little too goofy. Yes, it's tuned. I know, like cartoon. But um, this is just one of the tuned cars that I didn't care for. I like the, uh, what is it, the Charger. I like the uh, Boss Haas Mustang that they had. Uh, but that one, not particularly. This is pretty cool. Here you have the uh, Volkswagen Koffer Racer. Get a look at the base. It says Koffer Racer right on the base. There's J40 production code. You can see that J40 right there, right there in the middle. Uh, that means it was produced 40th week of 2016. And uh, interesting model. It's a Volkswagen with a <laughs> little bit of added customized stuff. I'm not familiar with the car itself. It's all right, I'll get a couple colors, but uh, you know, I know VW collectors will like to get that as well. The Jetsons returns, That's a, that was out quite some time ago. Here's another Lamborghini Countach in white. Nothing particular. Got headlight tampos, and that's it. Not much, they had room. Mine card's back. A motor car, this is another one to use. Uh, no, no, it's not, I'm sorry, it's not. This is, uh, <laughs> this is, let's see, they call it Xperia Motors. There's going to be 10 cars in the series. I don't remember what the other ones are. But you see, if you, uh, if you spin the face, you can have different faces. Is that a finger? Or is that, is that them drawing? It looks, it looks like they're, they want you to draw like a face on one of them. I'm not sure. I did not open this up in my 20, in my B case, because it was in my B case, here's a C case. Let's go ahead and take a look at it just real quick. And uh, I don't see this moving. Metal base. I seen, uh, I seen Mattel had a video with the uh, designer. So there's one, there's a smiley face. And there's the sad face. Happy face, sad face, only two faces. Kind of would have been cool if they would have been able to put more on there. But fun stuff from the uh, Hot Wheels design team. Here you have a Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. And it's uh, another release for honoring Magnus Walker, the urban outlaw. And he's, uh, he's a big Porsche guy. There's his autograph. Looking good. Nice decorations. Just the decorations alone look like it could be in one of the uh, $3 lineups. Get some of those uh, car culture wheels, put them on there. I'm sure Customizer is going to be doing that. Zodic again, Tomb Up was in the last case. And here is the mystery machine. Now this mystery machine, I, I think I buried my super. Here's the regular mystery machine. And there's a Tomb Up again. Here's Tesla Model S. Uh, I didn't notice that before. It's got like a, a metal flake paint to it. Very nice. And so here is the regular mystery machine. And if you find a super, it's going to look like that. So if you find a mystery machine, it doesn't mean it's a treasure hunt. You've got to find this uh, Spectre Flame green version for it to be a super treasure hunt. Rubber tires, special paint. This one has a TH on it for super TH. And because it's so big, I can't... Oh, yeah, you can see the Circle Flame logo behind it. So even... But to be honest, if you find the regular mystery machine, that's great as well. And I do believe... Uh, mm, I think these wheels might... It's been released a couple times before. I don't remember if it had those wheels before. Dodge Ram 1500. 15 Dodge Challenger. And Rigor Mortar casting change. Long-time collectors. If you're a fan of the Rigor Motor, uh, wow, this one, I think this one came out in the 90s. So you're talking, this casting has been around over 20 years. And people talking about the casting change no longer does it have like the separate piece up front. And where's the bats? The bats flew the coop. Ain't no bats here no more. But that's, the, that's what's going to happen for them to keep the, uh, either the price under a dollar or for them to keep their profit margin. I don't know. Here's a new model. And who is that? Chico Perez. Oh, right there. Sergio Perez. 
I'm not sure. Soccer player? Kind of has a soccer look. Uh, I don't know. The colors make me think it's like a uh, soccer player. I'm not sure. Speedy Perez. Maybe he's a driver. Interesting casting. Mm, doesn't even say it's a track car, so I didn't even know if it's supposed to be a track compatible. Uh, we might find out. Yeah, you can post a suggestion for track uh, for track time. You can post a suggestion for a model or two. I just noticed this blister hanging off. Now, I like the wheels on this. It looks pretty good. Fun stuff. I know kids like uh, kids kind of like uh, different wheels. Fun stuff. Here is the uh, Custom on One Accurate Integra GSR. And here is the uh, Happy New Year. Yeah, someone might have already been enjoying some of that Happy New Year sauce when they were packing this case. There's Carbonator. Definitely uh, nice to see in the year end. We got a special Carbonator in the Walmart uh, dump bins. So uh, there's a special Happy New Year release as well. Besides that, proper chopper. Here's Tarmac Attack. And I think it had a couple samples in the other case as well. And, uh, well, at least they tried to put the cardboard in the middle, you know. Here's another uh, Acura. Here's 16 Angels. Regular release. See, it's not chrome gold. That's the one you're looking for. And Hover Storm. I am 242 on getting that right. Who fell down? One, two. Oh, and this one, three. <clears throat> I want to make sure there's 72 in there. Grass Chomper, Mine Cart, and the Custom 72 Chevy Love. like that color. Street Stealth, another Chevy Blazer, and the Honda Odyssey. I like this recolor. And to be honest, when the first edition, the new model that came out last year, it was okay. But, you know, to be honest, the decorations did grow on me. 68 Mustang, this is another tuned car. I like this one. Another Chevy Love. Here's the Fair Lady 2000. For the vintage collectors or uh, people who like to collect the Japanese cars, I'm sure they're going to like to get this. Chevy, another Chevy Nova Flame Series. Another Tesla Model S. Chevy Silverado. Nice decoration, just simple. I don't know about the whites, all right. Let's see. Here we have the 15 Dodge Challenger. I think uh, I just passed one. I don't think that's the first one out of the case. And the Monster Dairy Delivery is back. You can tell by the wild graphics. That's part of the art cars, and there's the C. So there's your C for art cars for the Monster Dairy Delivery. Dodge Viper SRT 10 ACR. And I kind of glanced over this. I didn't really give it much attention in my last unboxing video, but it's a really nice tempo job. I like the colors. I like the presentation. Uh, when I was editing the video, I was thinking, man, I should have gave a little more time on that, on that car. Another Speedy Perez with those new wheels. Another Fair Lady 2000 and BMW M4. Now the M4 has uh, tail lights and the Fair Lady does not. But the BMW does not have side decorations, and the Fair Lady does. And there's your front for the BMW. Uh, basic treasure hunt. Mm, I don't even remember what it was supposed to be. There's your Viper again. The uh, Little Red Express and the BMW race car. Oh, that's pretty nice. They had a black release before, and this one's different. <laughs> I almost passed it thinking, oh, that's not new. It is new. New decorations, because the other one had a number 10. I like this car. Rocket box. Mountain mauler. And uh, back drafter. Now, uh, I, I, I was asked if this is a VW license, and I'll probably... I'm planning on talking about it in my Race Grooves Weekend Show. They thought it said VW in the back, but as you can see, it says WW. So that's Mattel look, making it look mm, kind of similar, but then again, kind of not, right? 
rocket box. Rigor mortar. Hey, it's back. Aeropod. Nice big model. Plastic bodied. Looks like it'd be pretty fun out there driving in the jungle or in the desert or maybe on the moon. Here's another VW. Again, the Kiefer Racer. 69.4 Torino Talladega and another Hoverstorm. 343. Chevy Silverado. I did like this uh, 67 Pontiac GTO. I think that was in the last case. If not, my mistake. Tank Mater. That's pretty cool design. Pretty cool decorations on this. Of course, it's a tank, so you've got a camouflage version. And even though they show it with a dude there, you can't stand your dudes up right there. Unless maybe you just put the torso in. I'm not sure. I just move on. There's another Porsche. What do we have down here? Another couple cars. We have uh, you again. And Drista. All right. Thank you for watching my case unboxing videos. Here's my case unboxing video playlist if you'd like to check out a previous release. Or I'll give you a couple other links in case you'd like to check out another video. Thanks for the thumbs up. And because when you like the video, that helps us show up in your subscription feed. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.